How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today, I'm going to take on the water speed record. Now, this is one that has been requested and I've thought about ever since I did the world's fastest plane challenge, which didn't go down with so many people. Because <laughs> I used mods and all this sort of stuff and... This one, I'm not sure how stock it's going to be. And the reason I say that is because the water crash tolerance on this game is very low. As in, you go too fast, the entire thing explodes because it, the water just doesn't work in that way, as it were. And uh, I have to achieve 370 miles per hour, which is 142 meters per second, which ain't that fast in this game. But on water, it's ridiculously fast. Um... And it's currently held in real life by the Spirit of Australia, and it was achieved in 1978. So I should be able to do this with today's Kerbal technology. So let's get into this and try and build some sort of boat that can do this. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, right. So we're going to start off stock. However, it's not necessarily for me all about being stock. I, I really don't care, in a way. I do understand when it comes to some of the engines, because some of them are really overpowered. But honestly, it doesn't matter how powerful this thing is. If anything, the more powerful it is, obviously the more fuel it's going to need. Because the engine will have to be more powerful, therefore thus more fuel. And that will make it heavier, which will then make it explode even quicker. So if anything, using mods and more powerful engines is probably not a good idea. Now I want to kind of model this on the sort of boats to actually do this. I'm not- I don't want to remake the actual Spirit of Australia or any of that. I don't- I don't know why. I, I, I want to kind of make my own one. They all kind of look the same as well. They're all kind of like, um, like super fast speedboats and they end up- when they're in the water, it's only their back part that's actually touching the water. All the rest is like up in the air. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to replicate that in this unless I use like RCS or something. But, technically that might help. So, we'll see. Now, the biggest hurdle to overcome when building something like this is to make sure you keep it light. The lighter it is, usually the better it works. That's, that's usually the general gist of it, right? And obviously, I want it heavier at the back, so I'm going to actually want to take the fuel out of this. And it's got oxidizer in it, which is not something we're going to need. Um, don't need any of that, so we'll keep that in there. So we're going to want some giant engines on the back, I imagine. Now, I don't know what sort of jets these things use in real life. Uh, I imagine they're not a crappy little, you know, sort of propellers. You know what? Stick with what you know. That's what I never say. Stick with what you know. I'm gonna stick with the turbojet ram engines. I even bloody know their name now, don't I? Well, they're not ram engines, they're turbofan engines. Did I say that? I don't know. The panther engines, whatever. I'm going to stick with these, and I might have two. I don't know, because obviously I'll be able to use tweak scale, because I really don't care about that. Uh, if anything, making them smaller makes them less powerful, so I'm kind of like putting myself at a disadvantage, not an advantage. I have to constantly remind myself, lightness. Lightness is key to building these things, and I'm just trying to make it look cool. I'm just like, oh yeah, that looks good in that place, no, 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 that looks bad, and then... It's not going to work, because I'm doing that. It's not going to work because I'm trying to make it look good. It never happens, it never works, when it comes to building stuff like this. I've already got a name for it. The porcupine. <laughs> it's just got spikes all over it. <laughs> and it's probably going to have more. I've got them on here, obviously, so it cuts through the water better. However, I don't know about these ones. These ones might be a bit useless. And if anything, I might want another one of them on there. Uh, mark 1. Put that there. There, look at that. That just looks better. I've also got... A, I'm going to put, like, a big back bit on here. And, uh... I don't know, I like the look of this. I'm just sort of basing it off of a load of them. Like, of what they look like. I just looked at sort of the world's fastest water record attempts. And all of them follow some sort of principle like this. See, now what I was thinking is I could put these up here. Look how cool that is. It looks like it's got two googly eyes. <laughs> uh, and then I was going to put like um, air intakes on them. I like that, that looks cool. Again, I need to make sure I keep the weight down. I need more weight. I need a ton of thrust to weight. Because obviously putting it in water is like trying to move a car through custard. I imagine. In, in a way. Um, so yeah. It's going to be kind of a difficult thing, but... I'm hoping that I can make it work. 
Oh, that could, look at that. That is exactly what I wanted. The center of lift right close to... The, now, I'm not entirely sure about this. Like, I don't know if this is a good idea. I'm just hoping for the best that it's a good idea. Uh, we're going to put another turbo... No, 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 no. We want another turbo fan engine. Uh, wrong thing. See, look, do we want one of these on here or do we want one of these? Because when I had these on the Y-Wing, they were stupidly powerful. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to go with one of these, the Weasley engine. Yeah, Weasley engine. I'm going to go with one of these because it just sort of reminds me of the sort of thing you'd find on a torpedo. Even though torpedoes have propellers, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I, li I like it because it sort of adds a little bit of diversity to it. See, look at me using big words. Okay, so now we have another section where I can add another engine if I want to. Now, this is, this really is only here so I can put like a little spoiler on the back here because it does. It looks a bit bare on this side. And if anything, I want to make sure I pull the weight back even more just to finish the look, I think. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That wasn't what I was trying to do, but that looks absolutely awesome. <laughs> that looks really cool. And I was not attempting to do that. I'm trying to make it go out here. But I kind of want to keep it that way. Oh, look at this. It's like a pair of scissors. Snip, snip. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to take it out for its first test run. I have no idea how well this is going to go. And yes, I don't need wheels because I have insta... Has no remote control. God damn it. Someone get in here. So don't be such a baby. Okay. It didn't explode, which is a good thing. It's got no struts on it, which it doesn't need. See, look, then we got the, the little pitch thing. However, someone told me about this mod. There's another mod called Hyper Edit, but this one's actually really useful for this. And what I could do is obviously move the vessel. And I can just pick it up and then just use Wazda to uh, move it around. Or Wasad, whatever. Well, here we go. Go. Now, we don't have these engines on the Afterburner version. If anything, I'll, I'll activate it. There we go. And then we'll pitch up. We need to go 140. We're going in the wrong direction. Go! Oh! That is what happens in the real life attempts. So I'm doing something right. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So test number two. I've put some more weight in the front. And I've basically done it just by removing the fuel out of the back. And uh, putting it in the front. And that's basically all I've done. Now the uh, center of lift, however, is behind the center of mass, which is isn't, isn't, I don't think, a good thing for something like this. I really don't know. I'm just kind of guessing. And uh, I never had SAS on last time, which might help me a bit. And I still have not set action groups for these. Damn it. Can I give it a bit of lift? Give it a bit of lift. Look at this. It's jumping. It's jumping along the water. This is so cool. Din, 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 din. Me doing that is actually slowing it down. Okay, so we need to pull the weight back now. It's just like a balancing act. Try and fly. Fly. Fly like my land speed car did. Oh! That didn't go well. <laughs> okay, do not press W and push the nose into it. That will not end well. Okay. So what needs changing? I think it is all to do with the center of lift and center of mass stuff. It needs to be perfectly balanced to the point of which I can get the best out of the engines and then it will be a matter of finding the right engine combination to be able to have it work. So I need to find out the specific point of balance where this thing wants to be to get the maximum like usage out of the engines, if that makes sense. I, I think that makes sense. I think I managed to explain that right. <laughs> so I want this... I want the center of lift, if anything, right on top of it, or ever so slightly behind it. So I've slightly altered it, and now this is directly, or almost directly above the center of mass. Now, it's a matter of finding where the center of mass needs to be to stop it from bobbing around and all that stupid stuff, which is actually ruining it all. If it didn't bob like that, I bet I would be able to do it. So I've got to kind of try and get rid of that issue, and then it will work. Now, I am worried about the engine. It seems that the engine is now breaking because it hits the water. As it bobs, I think it slams into the water too hard and then breaks. Which isn't good, obviously. I need to make sure I don't take off either. See, look, the faster I go, the more it bobs. Stop it! And then it loses speed because of it. Oh, and the engine's gone. I don't even notice it that it disappears. Where does it go? 
Oh, that is irritating. <laughs> I don't even notice this gone. Give it more speed. Oh, yes. And doom. That's this thing's, like, signature move. <laughs> That's the best way of slowing it down. It's like instant stop. Okay, okay, I've got an idea. We can protect the engine with some structural panels. Now, this could slow us down, but if it keeps the engine intact, that should sort of balance itself out. Maybe. I don't know. But what we could do is get one of uh, these and put it just under here, and that might protect it. Well, it should protect it. I don't see why it wouldn't. I almost forgot to name this thing the porcupine. That would have been a mistake. <laughs> uh, Alright, so, what have I done? I basically just moved the engine uh, and put a new one on. And I might put another one here, which will probably give us a little bit more. However, it's probably going to want to try and force it more into the water. So, if anything, it might even cancel out its own usefulness, as it were. But we'll see. Ah, see, I don't know if that panel's going to do anything, considering it's already submerged, but whatever. Does it pick up speed faster? I'm not sure. I couldn't tell. Are we going down or up as well? Oh my god! 108, 110! Please! Please! No! <laughs> we're getting there, but we're, we're still off. No! 142 is what we're looking for. Oh my god! 25! Come on! Look, it still turns like a... Oh god! We have taken off! Oh, get out of Say No! Oh god! Uh oh. Oh god. Brace! That is so epic! <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Okay, we're almost there. You know what I'm thinking? We add a few more engines. And I think this will do it. If we add them here, we may just be able to do it. However, the only ones I can add are radial ones. I can't add these sort of ones. Oh, God. Even though these are from a mod. I can't add those ones, because obviously they're not going to fit. I could add them onto the end of these, but I kind of like the way that looks. Like, I don't want to do it, because I, I, it looks too cool. So, we're going to have to use something like these ones. Now, I have no idea if these are from the original game or not. I really, really don't know. They look like they aren't. But I could be very, very, very wrong. Now, I'm so confident in this thing working. I'm putting it in a place where you can kind of judge how fast it's going. I'm putting it over here, which is uh, instead of over there. So you'll be able to see the land pass as we go flying through the... I was about to say air. Flying through the water. Come on, we need as much thrust as possible, as fast as possible. Go away. The oxidizer is running out and we're taking off. Whoa! Now, I'm pretty sure in real life they... They didn't use oxidizer. But whatevers. <laughs> uh, desperate times call for desperate measures. We still had some more. Oh my god, we ran through liquid fuel so fast. Oh, that could be a problem. Okay, so we could have quite severe issues with fuel now. Because of these two new engines I've put on it. Ah. This could cause us uh, a whole manner of issues. Right. Go. Like, look how quick it goes through it. We're not even going that fast. That is a waste. And we're taking off again. Ah. These engines suck. Land it, 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 land it. We're going to run out of fuel. Uh-oh. Get la la. Prepare to die. No. No. Survive. Survive. Yes, that's it. Break away. And live. Come on. Up you come. Up you come. Up you come. Float. Float. That's it. That's it. Make your way up. Yeah. Are you still alive? You're still alive. Yay. All right. Screw those engines. I hate them. They're no good. They don't work. <laughs> Take the oxidizer back out. We need to think of another plan. Let's detach those and put these on. Oh, hang on. Let's put one that's the right size. And put those on there. Oh. Put those on there. Actually, no, that don't look too bad like that. 
It might not work very well now. I, I really don't know. I don't know how much those were keeping it balanced. I imagine quite a lot. But it might help. It might help. It might be just enough to help us. You must be able to do it now. That's a lot of smoke. I can't see what the bastarding I'm doing. I can't see anything. Oh my god! We did it! I didn't even notice! <laughs> We're not even flying either! 207! Wow! This is damn quick for a Warcraft! 211! How the hell? We've got tons of fuel left as well! 217! Look how quick it goes! Come on, we're really, we're nearly out. 234, 235. Two, oh my god. <laughs> I saw 235.4. And that is a ton more than 142 meters a second, which is the real life world record. Yes, kill alarm. Pat yourself on the back for that one. Jump out and jump in the sea. Go on, go refresh yourself. Okay, so the, now the thing I want to try is to slow it down. I want to try and slow it down. That was incredibly quick. It, I would admit I don't think it looks as cool now. Some people may say otherwise, but in my mind it doesn't look as cool as it did with the two spikes coming off the back. But, who cares? It works. It worked. I have done it. Challenge technically complete. However, now I need to stop the damn thing, because in real life they had to stop it to win, I imagine. So, yeah. The one thing we need to add now is parachutes. And I have to add these in the correct places. Or this is not going to go well. Um, I'm not entirely sure what ones you use. That's a drogue parachute. Now, from what I know from drogue parachutes, they're sort of... Uh, they are the right thing that you'd use, right? You're not coming down from the... Yeah, 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 they're the right thing, I think. I could be wrong and people are going to call me out on that, but... <laughs> I think these are the right ones to use. When you're not, like, floating down from a planet. I think these are the ones you want. Here we go. It's always good to add a bit of fear factor, right? I've now got to do everything and stop it before I hit that. There's land right there. And it's going to kill us if I don't slow this thing down. So ready, steady, go. So look how quick it hits the world record. Oh, I ain't even on full throttle. Full throttle. 70, 80, 90, 100. 120, and past it. <laughs> and... Ready. Deploy the chutes. Oh my god, it takes off. Oh my god, it takes off from that. That's not good. I have to slow it down. Look how graceful this thing is. It's not even making a fuss. Oh, yeah! I perfectly landed it. Oh god, please don't slow me down. Slow me down. This has no wheels. It has no wheels! <laughs> Note to self, boats don't work on land, apparently. <laughs> okay, I've got a good little test for it. I'm going to try and reach the abandoned aircraft island, which is over there, obviously. I'm going to see if it can make it on the fuel it's got. Because it, it might do. I don't know how far away that is relative to how much fuel I've got. So here we go. Come on, you've got it, speedboat. The, the, what did I call it? The porcupine. That was what I called it because of the spikes, but it hasn't really got any anymore. Still going to be called the porcupine, though, because that sounds like a cool name for something like this. How much fuel have I got? Nowhere near enough. Okay, yeah, we're not going to make that. Let's just watch it explode as it runs out of fuel, because we know we can stop it now by making it take off and then slowly gliding it into the water. And ready? Steady. Die. <laughs> oh, I think it basically just has so much power on the back that it lifts the front up, and then as soon as it runs out, it's like, ugh, it gives up, and then just drops the front in, and then it explodes. That's my observation from that. I enjoyed that. I'm happy I did that after all, because I actually managed to do it. That's, that's awesome, and I love the look of it. It looked cool. So there we have it, everyone. That was the water speed record challenge. A challenge I have been meaning to do for an exceptionally long time. And I'm very, very happy I did it because 
it's actually quite rewarding. I've never built a boat before in this game, so uh, maybe that has something to do with it, but it was really cool to be able to build a boat that actually went at this sort of speed and looks cool. It looks like the sort of boat that would attempt a world record like this, and oh, it was quite, it was quite a fun build, actually. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. Goodbye.